I'm Bo Sebastian, and welcome to Angel Paints. So let's begin and I'll show you how to use these seven new ocean seascape brushes. We're going to begin with the boat. You're going to begin by doing a new layer. As you can see, I've created six new layers for our seascape environment. I'm going to use a dark gray for the boat, which I have in my palette that's selected as my preference colors. And I just tap on the screen. And sometimes you have to hold it there just a little bit longer. And then you'll see the boat. The boat is, is light gray, went hue saturation, and I created it a little bit darker in a new layer. And then I begin to move it around. I use the arrow tool. Once I get the arrow tool on, it creates a block around the image, and you adjust it. A new layer for the birds and the opacity is up and the the sliders on the right are all the way up and then I'm gonna touch the screen hold it down just a bit and you'll see three birds appear but they're going in the wrong direction so I use the arrow button and then take the hands and twist the birds and also make them smaller and I'll use the opacity button and hue saturation and I'll make them just a little bit lighter as well. So we have three elements already. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add some seashells. We're going to go to the mid range seashells, not the small ones, and we're going to put some on the right and some on the left. I'm going to use a dark color because um, when you create these brushes you're creating lights and darks. So the darkest have to the darkest color has to come out so that the light colors can contrast them. I used a, a light yellow so you can see there at first and it didn't work and then I tried a dark brown and the dark brown worked a lot better as you can see but they're too big. Arrow button again, make them smaller and then I'm going to squish them down because I'm looking at these from um, the, the side or like from an angle not straight above so they would be flattened a bit by my eye. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Same thing, arrow button, flatten them and then the next thing I want to do is I want to think about when you put something on the ground, you have to feel as if you're, um, it's not floating. And when something, when you're trying to create something that's not floating, you have to create shadow behind it. So you create a layer behind or beneath the layer that you're working on and I like to use a charcoal brush to do that and I find a color that's a little darker than the sand to create um, some shadow underneath it and what it does is it grounds the the brushes you'll see there's the layer I created a new one and then I'm going to create the color that I want to use underneath it a charcoal brush and I'm going to go to the bottom of that charcoal brush and I'm just going to just dab in a little bit of darker colors in there. You can barely see it but you can you see it enough that you can feel it. So I do that and then usually what I do is I'll change the opacity a bit to make sure that it's just the shadow and it's not like big chunks of color and then I'll usually smudge in 
the rest of it using the smudge brush which is right next to the paint brush and the smudge I almost always use to um, kind of even out color. And the smudge brush I pick is usually a very dense brush. Now you're going to notice here we're going to do on our final step the fish. I picked the fish stamp. I press it. I notice that they're too small because I didn't press it hard enough and then I grab it and I get some real big black fish there. Okay and now I'm going to press the arrow button and make them parallel. I'm going to press the motion blur and make them feel like they're under the water a bit. And then I'm going to go to the liquify button with the push and I'm just going to make it feel like they're a little distorted because that's what water does to things. And then once all of that happens then I'm going to take the saturation and I'm going to lower it down just a little bit more so it looks like those fish are right under the water. There you have it. Hope you have a great day and have fun with Procreate.